podcast listeners. This is Annabelle, the founding and um, managing partner of Crefovi, the law firm which focuses on advising the creative industries between Paris and London. So I'm in Richmond Park and um, having a breath of fresh air after uh, like around three weeks in quarantine in London uh, since I had to be careful not to go out um, further from coming back from Nice, France. So this is my first outing in like around a month. I've been overdoing it. I could have um, I could have been um, going out and about around uh, one week and a half ago, but I just, um, I mean, today was the right day. So I wanted to talk to you about creativity today and um, how you really do need to nurture your creative skills and um, your skills in general to keep on being creative, even despite all the setbacks and complications we, uh, we've we been facing since 2020. As you know, our law firm specializes in advising the creative industries and we really, really do love uh, uh, advising creative entrepreneurs and creative businesses. For us, uh, we really do think that um, creativity, know-how, intellectual property, brands, um, you know, skill set, designs, ideas, and the um, physical representation of ideas, works of art, are really the um, what you know gives a spark to life. And um, and we really do think at our law firm that they need to be protected, they need to be nurtured, they need to be enhanced, um, and um, and boosted. Um, today, the way the the, the, the uh, geopolitics are working is that um, most of the um, talent, most of the creativity is actually coming from either Europe or the US. I mean to a lesser of course uh, a degree in other uh, uh, continents of course, of course, but the usually the um, uh, creative uh, workforce is actually based either in uh, um, Europe or the US and then the manufacturing and uh, production um, uh, sites are um, either in um, in um, um, in other European uh, places but very often in Eastern Europe in Poland in Portugal uh, where the, for example the cotton is uh, is fantastic in Portugal or, or Pol Poland or um, other Eastern European countries where usually the workforce the labor costs are very low and usually the the, um, um, uh, the labor is also quite skilled and also of course uh, due to um, uh, to um, um, tax advantages in in zones like uh, 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 like in in Asia, like in uh, um, in Pakistan or Bangladesh, uh, where there are there are some sweatshops, and also of course China, there are lots of manufacturing sites here. But usually, not always, of course, there are also lots of creativity. I'm sure in Africa and um, in certain sites in in in, uh, in Asia, in particular in, in big capitals and and um, and towns like uh, Beijing, uh, Shanghai, etc., uh, and also Japan, of course, and, and uh, South Korea. But I think that we can say that uh, uh, the um, uh, the creative studios, the the brains behind all this creativity, is usually based in. Um, in Europe and um, and um, the US, so um, I'd say that uh, uh, Paris, London, and um, um, also Milan and New York are fantastic places for fashion. Los Angeles is of and London are also tip top um, uh, places for the film and um, uh, music business especially Los Angeles, but um, in Europe, it, I'd say it's, London is really uh, the capital of that. And um, and also there are lots of uh, other, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, clusters of creativity for IT, for example, in, the, um, in uh, San Francisco and the surroundings of San Francisco, of course. So 
my point is that um, as a creative you really do need to make the most of that and um, find yourself while well, you are young you know when you're thinking what am I going to do with my career you have to start thinking strategically as to where you want to go and live in order to be able to make the most of these uh, microcosms where um, your particular creative sector is going to be um, is going to be recognized as, a, as an art as a, as a strength and also uh, nurtured and also you know supported by potentially backers or financial backers or, um, or managers or, or uh, you know talent agencies etc etc so um, yeah quite early on you need to have a plan you know you, you need to have a plan there's no point in saying I'm a fantastic a fantastic actor in living in the middle of nowhere in um, you know in Italy or France or, or the UK etc you have to be at the right place at the right time and so very often that involves being in London or close to London if you if you are in uh, into acting or uh, a fee playing fee at the theater and um, of course in Paris there's a Cour Florent but my point is that you really do have to think strategically as a creative where uh, best you have to be located uh, to to um, nurture your skills uh, your skill set as a, as, a, as a creative and um, of course the paradigm is changing now uh, uh, um, due to the um, the uh, forcing changes that um, uh, covid 19 pandemic uh, is uh, is uh, uh, you know fostering and um, a lot of the business now is being done online so um, that's great it means for example that a lot of people were able to attend the Sundance uh, Film Festival which closed on the 3rd of uh, February 2021 uh, this week uh, by being you know based in Asia or um, or Europe, Europe or, or uh, Africa as, that's, as opposed to being in Utah in a, a, a park city it's called Park City or Lake City anyway so um, my point is that it's great that now on the online uh, world and the online uh, uh, skills are making it much easier to be part of this uh, microcosm, my, 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 microcosm and also this, this group of creatives around the world um, is good for the environment as well because you don't have to travel as much and therefore you, um, you save on the CO2 impact which is great um, but having said that though the best universities the best courses in acting in um, you know in um, the best agencies they're usually in in cert certain agent in certain places in certain certain countries and, and in particular city sorry so you have to do your research you have to do your your, your legwork to actually find out where is the best best spot to uh, to, uh, to make it. For example, myself, um, Annabelle, as a, uh, when I started my career as a young lawyer, I really wanted to actually work in finance and banking. So what did I do? Well, I went to um, uh, the Bocconi Business School and uh, attending a, um, a Master of uh, Economics and Sci um, sorry, a, a Master of uh, International Economics and uh, Banking um, at um, Milan, uh, uh, at the Star Bocconi. And then I was recruited by um, a, a British bank to actually work in London uh, in corporate finance and since then you know most of my uh, adult life I've worked out of uh, London which is uh, also used to be I don't know how Brexit but used to be great for the I think it still is really it used to be the capital in Europe for the banking and uh, capital market sectors so um, yeah you have to be at the right place at the right time I know at the moment a lot of um, uh, young students are actually staying put at their mummy and daddy's houses because they don't want to go I don't know to Canada to uh, uh, London etc because of Covid I think this is a shame uh, you need to excuse I'm really sorry but you need to grow some balls and um, uh, you need to go out there and, and go on campus if you can which I think is an option you know go back to where your your um, university is you have to be there even if that involves um, staying in your student accommodation and working from your student accommodation most of the time but you have to be on site you know you, you can't be on a you know in sort of dilettante um, um, a student of your creative field so um, and when I say you have to grow some balls I'm talking both for girls and boys you know uh, it, 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 it is irrelevant you you, you can uh, you can have a lot of courage and strength as, as a woman as well so um, yeah, so uh, best of luck, you know, with uh, fostering your creative skills as a, as a, a budding 
a content creator and um, and um, talk, I'll talk to you later bye